I'm gonna talk about the principle of sufficient reason so I can get around here. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, I'm back to this one spot. Uh, the principle of sufficient reason. I'm gonna talk about it here. It's gonna define what it is. I'm gonna discuss it in a little bit of depth, but and then a uh, uh, video besides this one I'm gonna discuss. Not Schopenhauer's world is well an idea, but Schopenhauer's uh, fourfold root of the principle uh, of the principle of sufficient reason. It's one of the first works um, Schopenhauer ever did. But uh, um, and the reason I'm doing this is because uh, Schopenhauer in World as World as Will and Idea discusses, and you know, I'm making videos discussing every uh, principle in that book. Well, in the abridged version, version anyway. And he he uses he talks about the principle of sufficient reason reason quite a bit. So I want to go into it somewhat. The principle of sufficient reason. It's the idea for for every x. If x exists, there is a sufficient explanation of for why x exists. For every e, if e occurs, uh, there is a reason for why e occurs. Um, for proposition p, if um, if p is true, there is a reason why p is true. The principle of, of su sufficient reason is just the principle that says that if something uh, either exists, occurs, or is true, then there's a reason for it. There's a there's, there's an explanation for things that, you know, the reason that we have science, the reason that we have philosophy, and all these things is because, um, is because we all, most of us, agree that for things that are either that either exist, occur, or are true, there's a there's an explanation for that. They don't. There. This is not. This environment is not just a uh, anarchical place. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not a system of chaos. It's not a. It's not a, a state of chaos by any means. Well, I mean, it is a little bit. Because I mean, or, or it may it may it may look like that to us from the right, from the, from the outset, but most of us agree that even if we have not come into an, an explanation, there there is some exp explanation. There's a sufficient reason for why things exist, occur, or are true. Now, um, this kind of directs philosophy a little bit because. Now I'm gonna put this here in uh, the meta philosophy playlist, I think, because philosophy is a lot about this. There are nihilists, there are um, anarchists, there are people who think that there are things that happen that you know don't happen for any real. There, there there's no explanation for them. I mean. And I guess nihilists won't, won't always be cl be classified that way, but uh, and I would say I'd have to gr agree with the principle of su of sufficient reason that, that if X exists, there's a sufficient there's a su there's a sufficient explanation or a reason for why X X, X exists. Uh, let's think about uh, that 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 blade of grass there. Um, there's a reason why it exists. Um, let me think. Um, there is a reason for everything. I mean, I, I can't imagine why you can't, why you, why you would think that there is not reasons for things. And I think philosophy has a lot to do with this whole principle, because there are some people who don't believe it. I guess. And. Um, this kind of directs some philosophy of religion too. Uh, you know, there's this is something. This is a principle that directs a lot of that. Um, 
Professor Anton the other day was talking about nihilism. And the people who think that there's no meaning for life. There's no real reason for our lives. Uh, he classified them as nihilists. Um, now, I want to compare that to people who think that there are not reasons for things. Um, think about our lives. I mean, there's, there's a reason, there's an explanation for... Um, for why you exist or how you exist, but I don't know. I guess I don't want to use the word nihilism because uh, I can't imagine somebody who doesn't agree with the principle of sufficient reason, but I don't know. This is just my little thoughts on this because I can't see any way out of it. The reason there is science, I mean, the reason there's science and there's philosophy is to debate things beyond this, but I wanted to just discuss this because... Uh, um, it came up in Schopenhauer's world, world as well an idea, and I think it will later. But and then beyond this video, I'm talking about uh, Schopenhauer's fourfold reasons. But my my thoughts are is that there's no real way out of it. I mean, if, if there's anybody, if there's any of you who think that the principle of sufficient reason is wrong, please tell me below because I would like to hear about this and uh, I guess I'm just trying to think about what what I would want to call somebody who doesn't agree with the principle of, of, of uh, sufficient reason um, and I guess I wouldn't want to call them a nihilist because it's they would need a more I would guess they would have to have the term a anarchist um, in uh, politics at least and uh, I guess I could use that term for other things too, but those are, those are just my thoughts on that. On that, and if you think that that this is not a truth, then please please say so.